tea time. Did you hear the story about the man who was just playing around on TikTok and he posted a video of his cat playing with a crystal and it blew up? He was like, oh my God, of all the things for people to see, but they saw it and they liked it. And he got a random DM from a woman saying, hey, I think you and my friend would be perfect for each other. And he was like, why would you think that? And she wrote back, she said, well, because of your video with the cat and the crystal, and then the way you look, I think she really like you. And he was like, well, um, let me see your friend picture. So she uploaded pictures of her friend to her story so he can go and look at it. And when he saw it, he was like, dang, she's gorgeous. Yeah, um, hook me up. So he got her number and he was like, oh my gosh, I don't know what to do. Like, how do, what do I text first? So he actually went to chat GPT to ask them, what can I text the woman I don't know first? And they gave him a bunch of weird responses, but he didn't listen to any of them. And he just sent her a regular text message. And they started corresponding, talking, and the chatting was going really well. And they ended up chatting and talking for like three months before they actually met. Now, she lived in Southern California and he lived in Oregon, Oregon which is like 13 hours away from her but they were still trying to see what's up you know see maybe if some sparks could happen in person so um he ended up telling her i'm going on a trip to southern california maybe i can take you to disneyland for our first date and she said of course now this woman has two kids she's a professional she's busy but she's consistently making time for this man his name is surin because she really likes him so when he goes down to Southern California, he heads on over to Disneyland and he's standing there looking around like, oh my gosh, I don't know how I'm going to feel when I finally see her. And he said, when he finally spotted her in the crowd, he said, I know we've been talking for three months, but this feels like love at first sight. And they went to each other and they hugged each other and they just was feeling so many butterflies. Now he had his friends there as well, you know, kind of playing the wingman and all four of them was going on all the rides and enjoying each other like the young at heart. And eventually their friends was like, you know what, we're gonna go back to our hotel room so we'll see you guys later, which left them two alone at the park to continue to do, to do rides and enjoy themselves. And, and since nobody was around <laughs> to, to say anything, he decided, I'm going to go ahead and sneak in a kiss. And she allowed it. And they just started making out like teenagers at Disneyland. Like, oh, my God. <laughs> well, after that, um, he went back home. And they was like, oh, totally smitten with each other. I was like, I like you. I like you, too. Oh, my gosh. Well, we got to make something happen here. And they decided, okay, two to three years from now, we, you're going to move to California because he actually was working a job he didn't really like. He was in an overpriced apartment. So it just made sense for him to move since she had kids and she had six pets and she had a great career. And he was like, okay, we'll make it happen in a little while. But that wasn't good enough. When they went to fly and see each other again, oh my gosh, the sparks and the love were so strong that they was like, we gotta, we, 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 gonna, we gonna lessen it from two to three years that we gonna make it a year. And they're like, okay. So she leaves again and then they meet up again for the next time and they're like, uh-uh. <laughs> we can't wait this long anymore. Let's do it when you get a job. And she's like, and he's like, okay, all right. I'm gonna look for jobs over there. I'm, I'm gonna be on my grind and make sure everything is kosher. And he can't find a job and they see each other again and they're like, nope, we got to do this now. And she's like, I don't care. I'll take care of the bills. I've been paying all the bills anyway around my house and I'll take care of you until you can find a job. And he's like, hold up. <laughs> now he's not used to this. He's used to being the one that's the breadwinner and taking complete care of the woman. But this makes sense. And he's like, oh, I got me a little sugar mama and she's willing to take care of me because she loved me. And now he decided to go ahead and break his lease, move on over to Southern California with no job. And he said he going to still cash out some of his interest so he could have money to spend and to help her with the household because he don't want to be that kind of guy. But still, he's so excited and he's sharing his journey on TikTok. He's like, I've never lived in any other state but Oregon. And this is going to be like a brand new adventure for me. And I'm so glad I met this woman. And she's literally the love of my life.